Hello and welcome to Worldwide Watch on CCTV International. I'm Yang Yan in Beijing. World leaders have struck a deal to fight climate change after tense negotiations in Copenhagen. The breakthrough ended a deadlock at the UN-led talks. But U.S. President Barack Obama said on Friday that the world still had much further to go in the fight against global warming. Mike Patterson has the story. The deal described by Obama reflects some progress helping developing nations cope with climate change. All countries agreed that efforts should contain global temperatures to target set at a conference of the leading economic nations last July. Obama suggested Friday's agreement among the five key countries would be adopted by the larger summit in its closing hours. According to U.S. officials, each country will list the actions it will take cutting global warming pollution by specific amounts. The deal reiterates a goal that eight leading industrialized nations set earlier this year on long-term emission cuts. It also provides a mechanism to help poor countries prepare for climate change. Obama acknowledged that some nations feel the U.S. is doing too little to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. He urged leaders to accept a less-than-perfect pact while making no U.S. concessions. All sides conceded the deal was imperfect, but agreed it was a starting point for a coordinated international effort to combat climate change. The agreement still hinges on formal approval from a full meeting of all 193 nations at the talks. Mike Patterson, CCTV. Premier Wen Jiabao has left Copenhagen for home after attending the climate summit there. Earlier, the Chinese Premier called for common but differentiated responsibilities to build international cooperation to fight global warming. Tom Furan has more. In his speech at the opening session of the leaders' meeting of the UN Climate Change Conference, Wen Jiabao says China has made unremitting efforts and a positive contribution to the global fight against climate change through energy conservation and pollution reduction. He says China has not attached any condition to its target for mitigating greenhouse gas emissions, nor has it linked it to the target of any other country. <laughs> The Chinese government has set targets for mitigating greenhouse gas emissions, and it is a voluntary action China has taken in light of its national circumstances. We will honor our word with real action. Whatever outcome this conference may produce, we will be fully committed to achieving and even exceeding the target. The Premier says dealing with climate change needs to be a joint effort by the international community. His proposal focuses on four aspects. First, the outcome of the Copenhagen Conference must stick to, rather than obscure, the basic principles enshrined in the Convention and the Protocol, and must follow, rather than deviate from, the mandate of the Bali Roadmap. Second, the fairness of rules must be followed. The principle of common but differentiated responsibilities is the bedrock of international cooperation. Developed countries should be the first to cut emissions and provide technology and financial assistance to developing nations. Third, the reasonability of the target must be kept. A long-term perspective and a focus on the present is needed in tackling climate change. Fourth, the effectiveness of the system must be ensured. The international community must forge an effective system to press developed countries to honour their commitments in assisting poor nations to fight global warming. Tom Fuhr on CCTV. Our correspondent Liu Ge is at the conference. Earlier, she told us about international reaction to Premier Wen Jiabao's speech. Basically, it's quite positive because uh, in his speech to the delegates, Premier Wen said that to meet the climate change challenge, the international community must have such uh, strengthen its confidence, build consensus, and make vigorous efforts and cooperate with each other. So it's kind of a uh, quite encouraging message to all the delegates to fight against climate change. And also, in his speech, he reiterated China's stance on the negotiation of the climate change. That is, where all the countries, all the participants, should follow the Kyoto Protocol, the principle of Kyoto Protocol, and also follow the mandate of the Bali uh, map, uh, road map. So uh, basically, uh, the reaction is quite positive. They think that uh, Chinese stance is quite uh, vigorous and uh, quite ambitious. And China also set a 
kind of high um, um, emission reduction target. And you know, uh, uh, at the end of the, his speech, Chi uh, Chinese Premier Wen said uh, China will attach um, not any kind of conditions to these emission targets. Uh, whatever the outcome of this conference, China will try its best to reach these kind of targets. And it's quite encouraging, it's quite positive. Severe weather has continued to hit Europe for a second consecutive day. 